Welcome to this beginner-friendly tutorial on Easy Office Inventory, a powerful cloud-based asset management software designed to simplify the way businesses track, manage, and maintain their assets. So whether you're handling equipment tools or, or IT assets, this platform ensures you stay on top of inventory maintenance schedules, and utilization, all in one centralized system. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll explore the core functionalities of Easy Office Inventory, why it's a go-to solution for businesses of all sizes, and how you can set it up to meet your asset management needs. So by the end, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use this platform effectively to streamline your operations. So before we get started, first, what is Easy Office Inventory? So Easy Office Inventory is an intuitive asset management solution designed to help organizations track physical assets throughout their life cycle. From procurement to disposal, the platform provides a seamless way to monitor usage, schedule maintenance, and generate insightful reports, ensuring your operations run smoothly and efficiently. So the software is trusted by industries such as construction, IT, healthcare, and education, where managing equipment and inventory is a critical task. With its user-friendly interface and robust feature set, Easy Office Inventory makes asset tracking easier than ever. So now let's get started. So simply head over to the Easy Office Inventory website, and from here you can try it for free. So simply click on Try It For Free and sign up for an account. So as you can see, this is the sign-up process. So first, you need to select what industry are you in. So I'm just going to select uh, education. What type of assets do you want to track? So let's say IT equipment. What are your goals? So let's just say track. How many assets are you planning to track? So let's say less than 250 and click on continue. So how frequently will you be checking out the items? I'm just going to just click on skip. And now they will launch our dashboard. So just wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, this is how our dashboard will look like. So as you can see, we have the catalog overview right here. We can see the items distribution. So this is just a... Uh, sample uh figures right here so as you can see we have the inventory asset stock and our assets you can also see our locations right here so again these are also sample data next is we have the catalog utilization right here you will see all of these graphs we have the items growth inventory location based thresholds the items custody and latest events. We also have maintenance and purchasing. So this is how your main dashboard will look like. So you'll see the graphs and your performance metrics. So you can track all of your inventory or your work in one uh, main dashboard. Next is we have the item section. So from here, we can see our assets. So you can see these are all of the assets. So again, these are just sample assets. So if you don't need this, you can always uh, uh, avail for the subscription plan and start a fresh dashboard. And you can add all of the assets that you need. So for, to add one, you can always click here on Add Asset and add them manually right here. So just uh, enter the information for the asset. And again, we can also import assets right here to import, uh, to do it uh, in bulk and not adding assets manually. 
Next is we have the asset stock. As you can see, we have asset stocks right here. We can also add it manually and again, import. Next is inventory. So these is our inventory. So we have the inventory number, the name, description, and the quantity. Next is we want to go to our location section. So as you can see, we have four active locations right here. So let's say we want to see the description or the details of location one. So as you can see, we have the address right here. We can also attach files or add comments. You can see the nested locations. So you can see we can also see which assets are in this location. So as you can see, we have the MacBook Pro is right here. So next, let's go to the purchase orders section. So as you can see, we have the purchase orders right here. So we can add a new purchase order or we can add a new purchase request. So as you can see, we have this uh, purchase order. The status is already confirmed. We also have this another a purchase order, but the status is still drafted. So again, so just uh, you can add new purchase order by clicking right in the top right, or add a new purchase request. We can also see the approval pending, which are the purchase orders that needs reviews, and which orders are denied. Next, we have the members and access section. So from here, as you can see, these are all of the members of your uh, project or your work. So all of these members have access to your Easy Office inventory projects. So to add a new member, just click here and add member in the top right. You can also add multiple members or simply import members. Next is the report section. Now from here, you'll just see reports. You can view all of these reports right here, such as the legacy reports for the available assets, asset scans, asset geolocation, and a bunch of different reports that you can view right here. So basically, those are all of the features of Easy Office Inventory. So what you want to do now is to uh, feel free to explore more about the features more about the sections right here and in no time you can now be using easy office inventory for your business needs so that's basically it for this video so if you find this video helpful please hit like and subscribe thanks